Uh, please, please welcome the very talented Tara Smith. Too much last night. Uh, if you know me, you know that that's every night. <laughs> you guys don't care that I'm an alcoholic? Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> uh, thank you, Shane Ryan. Shane Ryan, guys, put your hands together for Shane Ryan. You know what's so funny is that we are uh, we're so close in age, and I don't do math. So my last date was 27. I'm 47. That's wrong math. Like that's incorrect math, and I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna. I'm a be a cougar. What's up, girl? How you living? I don't know her, but I might fuck her later. <laughs> so I am recently divorced, which is not true. I was divorced last May, and I just keep saying that I'm recently divorced because when you see me fucking around and just like being crazy, you're like, oh, it's fine. She's recently divorced. It's okay. So when you see me making out with a clown or fucking a clown, <laughs> not that you're going to see that, but that did happen. Um, before... <laughs> Before I got divorced, I did uh, I did a little bit of comedy, and I talked about how terrible it would be to be single. So maybe I'm psychic. I don't know. I just maybe I just knew. Uh, but I did write a little dating bio, like a pretend dating bio, and I'm going to tell that to you right now. Hi, my name is Tara. I have a tiny mouth and a very sensitive gag reflex, so I might throw up on your dick. Uh, but I make up for it with my giant vagina because I know that boys boys care about size, right? That's important. <laughs> but now I have a new bio because I always swore, "Lo, I got divorced. I'm never gonna do the dating app." Well, I did it. I did it. So, and that's why I fucked the clown so I could put that in my dating bio because every question I get from a dude is like, "So you fucked a clown?" Did he have on his makeup? Was his dick like a balloon animal? Like, you know, just random questions like that, which is fun. Uh, but being single is terrible. I hate it. I hate it. Um, slash love it. Uh, what? Here's what I miss about being married is that I never had to suck a dick. I never had to give blowjobs. Not that I have to now. Like, that's not. But I hear that guys like that. <laughs> I hear that guys like it when you put your their penis in your mouth. Um, <clears throat> and I hate it. Listen, I hate it when girls are like, oh, I love sucking dick. I love, let me choke on that dick. Bitch, no, you don't. You're a fucking liar. You're a liar. The last thing I choked on was a chicken nugget, and I would rather choke on a chicken nugget <laughs> than a penis. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. How you living? So uh, you guys know me. Most of you know me. And I've talked about how much I love sad boys. I'm obsessed with sad boys. Um, but how do you explain that to a person? How do you explain, like, that's why I like you? Because you cry a lot. Like, that's not okay. <laughs> like, I want to collect your tears and use them as lube on my gnarliest vibrator. Like, that's not okay. Don't ever. I said that once, and it did not go well. It didn't go <laughs> So what I'm doing, I feel like what I've what I've done now, I've transitioned from sad boys to sad dads. Ew. How you doing? Oh, that's your wife. I forgot. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, because uh, no sad boy will fuck you harder than a sad single dad living in living in his mom's basement. Like that's a fact. And also. Maybe he will choke you also, too. <laughs> but only with one hand. But with two hands is too much. Two hands is too aggressive, I've discovered. Um, 
I'm sorry. My sister's here, and she's so embarrassed no, about I'm me not. talking about dicks. And no, I'm not. No, you love it? I love you it. love it? She loves it. But I'm just like, yes, daddy. Uh, he goes, he's like, I hate my life. Yes. Because that's a, that's a hate fuck like no other. Like, you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. Like, murder my vagina. It's fine. It can take it. I write so tiny. I have to look at my notes. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, so sad dads, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so eventually I will move on to sad grandpas, and I'm very excited about that because I'm just going to be leaned over a walker one day. Like, <laughs> yes, pop, pop. <laughs> Fuck me, pop, pop. I said that's your pussy, pop, pop. Because <laughs> he can't hear very well. <laughs> but... What I'm saying is that I'm growing as a person, and the men that I date is a reflection of that. <laughs> Let's talk about catcalling real quick. Uh, I love getting catcalled. When I say I love it, I mean I fucking love it. No, I do. Uh, but be original, maybe. Don't be like, hey, girl, you got a booty. Yes, I do have a booty. We all have booties. It's fine. Like, be honest. Just be like, oh, hey, girl, are you medically qualified to give me life advice? I don't care. Here's every emotion I've ever felt since I was 12. <laughs> like, that's hot. Just be honest. Uh, hey, girl, are you my mom? I have problems. Let me cry on them titties. <laughs> okay. You may. You may do that, sir. Thank you for asking. Uh, hey, girl, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Because I'm emotionally unstable. Let me cry on them titties. Yes. I'm into it. But then what if one guy was like, hey, you look like you could use a nice sandwich. Like, that would be sweet. That never happens. I like sandwiches. Sometimes men are terrible. I'm going to tell a quick story about how terrible men are sometimes. They're not hashtag not all men. Uh, some of them are fine. Some, you guys are probably fine. It's whatever. Uh, years and years ago, I went to rent a movie in Elizabethton, Tennessee. Uh, I went to rent the movie Shag, which is a movie about young girls that go to the beach and dance and fall in love with boys. I was 19, so I love movies about girls that went to the beach and danced mm -hmm. and fell in love. It's very sweet. And then I walk, you know, I'm walking through the store, and there's this terrible, terrible penis just out. Terrible penis. And I feel like, like, I've made jokes about how much I hate big dicks, and I feel like, like, I've worked it through in my head, and this is why this motherfucker was just standing there with his dick out, his big purple, it was so hard, it was purple. Like, that's offensive on a thousand levels. Like, don't show me your big purple dick, maybe. Um, <laughs> this is not even a joke. This is just a story. Like, But this is what it's like when you send unsolicited dick pics. It's just, like, aggressive and terrible. Nobody wants that. Don't do it. Fuck Louis C.K. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Oh, I did write down, okay, so I drink, I drink sometimes, and I will write notes in my phone, just random thoughts, and sometimes I think they're going to turn into jokes, and sometimes they don't. So I'm just going to read you some of them. This one was titled, Mom Jokes. You can't drown them legally. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? I'm terrible. I'm going to hell. Uh, I talk about my ex-husband a lot because I want the world to know that I'm a failure. That was something that I wrote down thinking that I would turn that into a joke. And that was just probably, that's a poem, maybe? Maybe that was poetry. Uh, is it normal to write suicide notes every month but only when I'm PMSing? That's something that I do. Because PMS is hard. It's hard to be a lady. Uh, this is my favorite. Fucking cartoon slash comic book characters like Rain Man. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it's not just men that are terrible. Uh, we're all terrible. We're all terrible people. We always have been. We used to burn each other up 
Because witches. <laughs> <laughs> Gum almost flew out of my mouth. That's hot. We used to sacrifice each other uh, so that invisible people in the sky would love us and our crops would grow. We used to go door to door and sell watches and broom handles to it, like try to do that. Like, and now we brew craft beer that tastes like a mouthful of pennies and we pretend that it tastes good. Like that's how <laughs> terrible we are. Um, it's just awful. We're terrible people. <sighs> Again, maybe not a joke, maybe just commentary. <laughs> You know what? I've never been pregnant. I've never been pregnant, but I do kind of want to get pregnant on purpose just so I can have an abortion and write a BuzzFeed article about it. <laughs> like the top 17 reasons why you should have an abortion this fall. <laughs> Number nine will blow your mind. <laughs> clickbait. It's all clickbait. Or a quiz like which friend's character is your aborted fetus. <laughs> And you're like, yes, it's Ross. <laughs> yes, that's fuck Ross. Oh, Phoebe. Oh, Phoebes. I love Phoebes. I just realized that's the end of my jokes. <laughs> I'll tell one more. I'll tell one more uh, that you guys have probably heard before, but I'm going to tell it because there's like three people here that I don't know. Uh, you guys ever try that old trick where you yawn, put your arm around the person next to you? And then you suck their dick. <laughs> but then everybody in church gets really mad. Hey, <laughs> honey, no. No, hunt, no. Quit sucking that dick. Uh-uh. But you don't care. You suck that dick so hard. I mean, I don't because I don't like... I forgot that I hate sucking dick. Fuck! This joke sucks. Uh, but you don't care. You suck the dick. And then a big old orgy breaks out and everybody's fucking on the Bibles. <laughs> Just fucking everywhere. Brother Carl's like, TT, quit it. Quit sucking on those dicks. That, that actually, that never happens to me for a myriad of reasons. Uh, I don't go to church. Uh, that happened at the Waffle House where they, they, they suck your dick. I don't know. All right, thanks. That's, that's my time. I'm sorry. I forgot most of that joke. All right, I'm going to bring up our next comic. He is half the Sonic Simon comedy duo out of Knoxville. This is his first time in Johnson City. You guys, put your hands together for Sean Simino.